Hello everyone, this is Yadamaster Official. We are all familiar with disk arrays, which are commonly referred to as RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and so on. Certainly, today, let's explore what a RAID array is and understand the differences between various RAID levels. All the data on our computers is typically stored on a hard drive, and if something happens to that drive, there is a risk of losing the saved data. To enhance data security and reliability, we can use two or more hard disks and combine them together to form a disk group. For our computers, the combination of multiple hard disks into a logical unit is referred to as a RAID, redundant array of independent disks. In the event of a problem with our hard drives, the RAID array mode we have set up can indeed help us recover or rebuild our files. However, there are different levels of RAID and different levels have different characteristics. So let's start by understanding RAID 0 mode. Let's take a direct example. Suppose we want to store a 300 gigabytes video file. We have two options, using a single 300 gigabytes hard disk in one computer or using a RAID 0 configuration with three 100 gigabytes hard disks in another computer. Let's assume that each drive has a write speed of 100 G s. So the first computer takes three seconds and the second computer with RAID 0 only takes one second. Because RAID 0 mode splits up the files and stores them on three drives simultaneously and separately, RAID 0 is the best performance of the bunch. However, because RAID 0 is a way to separate files on these drives, there is no security, and if one of the drives fails, all the others will be unusable. So to improve security, we have RAID 1, which not only writes to the first hard drive, but also copies the file to the second hard drive when we deposit it. For example, if we use two 250G hard drives to form a RAID 1, the total capacity is naturally 500G, but because it will back up files. So although RAID 1 is highly secure, the actual capacity used is only half of the total capacity. Although RAID 0 is good for performance, but not security, RAID 1 is good for security, but the actual capacity of the hard disk is too low. So RAID 5 is a solution that combines capacity, security, and speed. RAID 5 requires at least three hard disks to be set up. RAID 5 will also store data on separate hard disks, but at the same time it will add checksum information to each separate data block. So if one of our hard disks is stolen it can be recovered by using the other data blocks and checksum information. So we also call it distributed checksum disk. We can simply understand its recovery principle as 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 10. 2, 4, 1, and 3 are the data blocks that are kept separately and 10 is our checksum information. If a hard disk damages, 10-2-1-3 will be able to know the lost data block is 4. Therefore, in RAID 5 mode, only one hard disk can be damaged, and there is no way to recover if two hard disks are damaged. The last one is RAID 1 plus 0, also known as RAID 10, which requires at least four hard disks to make up RAID 10. First, combine two RAID 1 and then combine two RAID 1 to RAID 0. When saving a file, it splits the file first and then copies the file. So RAID 10 has the read speed of RAID 0, but also the security of RAID 1 and 50% of the usable capacity. 